Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be making a video about how I personally feel Tales of Tenora will perform on Roblox after it drops, and how it will do on release, and how it might perform after, as well as how it will impact its creature capturing genre and the Roblox platform as a whole. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, on release, I personally reckon Tales of Tenora may have around 10 to 30,000 players. And this does seem quite a lot, but I think this is personally on the lower end of what might happen. Because Tales of Tenora does have quite a big following on YouTube, Twitter, and as well as Discord server. All of which being in the tens of thousands. So, it's not too bad of a stretch, I think, that the game could possibly even get more than what I expect. As for its impact on the creature capturing genre, think of it being like a pull. I reckon Tales of Tenorio is going to jump in from a really really high diving board and cause a massive splash, if not a tsunami, which is definitely going to displace some of the other titles within this space. Some temporarily, but some I think people will be fed up of and it will definitely leave a mark on its player count. As for Roblox as a whole, I don't think it's going to become like Blocks Roots or anything crazy like that. But, I can definitely see it being in a good place on the popular page and it making a pretty good name for itself. Now, for how well it might continue to do after release and the time that follows, it really is dependent on how much the game updates. Because if there's no updates, people are going to get bored of a lack of new content and they will obviously stop playing. But I am pretty sure that Tales of Tenorio does have a bunch of updates planned for the weeks after release. Obviously, you know, PvP one week after and I'm pretty sure some other things that were said about in a devlog coming in the subsequent weeks after that. So that really shouldn't be a problem initially after release. But in the months that do follow, there has to be, I would say, a pretty decent schedule on when we are getting updates. So people do know what to expect, and the game can get into a healthy flow that people will not detach from. But I think the most important thing is going to be that release hook. If people can get hooked on release, and that hook is firmly in place, then it's going to be more, you know, less likely that people actually leave later. So if they pull off the hook on release, then I think it will pay off long term. And so this video in summary is that I think Tales of Tenorio is going to have a pretty, pretty good release with quite a lot of players. And it's definitely going to cause a mark on the creature capturing genre as well as making a name for itself in the popular page. And if it can have a good consistent streak of updates after release, then it does have potential to keep its players and grow. So yeah, if you guys did find this interesting, please make sure to like and subscribe as it would be greatly appreciated and I will see you in another video. Bye!